Howdy guys, Kirk and Jay here with Kirk Giordano Plastery. Today I want to, I got a lot of calls for this mesh. I got about three emails uh, last week and folks are saying, gee, how come you're using the 17 gauge wire or the chicken wire as opposed to the two by uh, eight strips? So I thought I'd point that out guys. This is 3.4 self-furred wire or you can get 3.4 regular wire. You see these strips right here? The wood strips, what you can't see is this V's out like this. It veers in a, like, it's a skirt. So it comes out, it's not straight up and down. Now he just put some strips of wood here and then he's gonna cut those off. But if I use regular wire, like you see in a lot of our videos, say the 17 gauge or 18 gauge, that's stucco netting. The 20 gauge is chicken wire because it's made for chicken coops or for setting tile. It's real fragile. But all you folks who say, how come you don't use this? We do use this. We can use this 3.4 for walls, or we can use it for ceilings. Let me show you right here. This is what we use on this ceiling. This is a rib lath. It's a lot sturdier, so it's not bouncy. See, this, this is bouncy, and that's what this is, 3.4 mesh. No, we don't use it for walls because we are in the San Francisco Bay Area. It's not code for walls, but a lot of the people all over the country do use this wire here and you can use it um, we're getting ready to take lunch here and Jay suggested well I got a lot of people calling me asking me that same thing saying how come you guys use that and not the mesh wire well the mesh wire you can see it right here it has its its reason but you could also see this bowing as I'm plastering it right here now granted uh, we're kind of tired and waiting for that pizza to get here, but I'll give you an idea. Right now we're, we're going about an inch and a half, no big deal. We are matching this finish. Uh, Jay will give you a closer view of that pretty quick because it's an unusual finish. What I do here guys is I'm just, we're just doing a scratch coat by the way. Scratch coat is first coat. The second coat is brown, called the brown coat. Is it the color brown? No. Why do they call it a brown coat? <laughs> I have no clue why they call it a brown coat. Uh, and I've been doing this like over 30 years. Um, I'll show you one more thing. On. Okay, so I'm gonna be laying on my back. And what I generally do is I'll put this on in this mesh. You can kind of see it's, it's flimsy, it's going in, it's bending. But if I use regular wire, such as I use in the majority of my video, videos, it would, it would be bowing right now. It would be bowing and it would be falling out. The last thing I'll show you is, okay, we got a soffit. And this is a uh, soffit, it's, it's rib lath. So what we want to do is what I've been doing here. It's, it attaches a lot easier. And here's a tip. If you're gonna do a soffit, use, use a mix that's very rich. Instead of three to one, go two to one. See that? It's uh, even this, this mud here, which is three to one, it'll spread if you know how to do it, but it can drop out too. The stickier it is, the better it adheres. With this rib lath, you always want to be looking into the V, so when you attach that stuff, uh, make sure the V is pointed toward you. Otherwise, you'll be here all day. Anybody order a pizza? <laughs> I like your style, the pizza guy. That's a dangerous haul right there, man. If you had to drop that, your life would have been in danger. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> ah. My name is Kirk, Jason on the camera. It's lunchtime, guys. That's a hint for us to stop messing around and start the real stuff of eating. We thank you guys for watching, and as usual, live long and blaster. By the way, folks, my dad and I are now members of Amazon Affiliates, so if you're looking to buy any of the plastering or construction tools you've seen in our videos and you want to support us in the process, you can check the links below our video or you can go to our website and get them there. If you have any other questions that, for tools we don't have linked, email us direct and we'll respond to you then. Once again, folks, we thank you for watching and I really enjoy all your comments, 
If you guys like this video, please click the like button down below. And also, if you enjoy what we do, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making these videos for you. My name is Kirk. And Jay. We thank you for watching. And from the entire Giordano family, we'll, we'll see you on the next one.